Quantum computing is a type of computing that uses the principles of quantum mechanics to perform calculations. It is still in its early stages of development, but quantum computers have the potential to solve problems that are intractable for classical computers. Classical computers use bits to store information. A bit can be in one of two states, 0 or 1. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use qubits to store information. A qubit can be in a superposition of states, meaning that it can be 0 and 1 at the same time. This is what allows quantum computers to perform calculations that would be impossible for classical computers. One of the most important applications of quantum computing is in cryptography. Classical computers use encryption algorithms based on the difficulty of factoring large numbers. Quantum computers, however, could be used to factor in large numbers much more easily, which would break many of the encryption algorithms that we currently use. This could have a major impact on our security and privacy. Another important application of quantum computing is in drug discovery. Quantum computers could be used to simulate the behavior of molecules, which could help us to discover new drugs that are more effective and less toxic than the drugs that we currently have. Quantum computers could also be used to design new materials with properties that we cannot currently achieve. For example, Quantum computers could be used to design new materials that are more efficient at conducting electricity, or that are stronger and lighter than the materials that we currently use. Finally, quantum computers could be used to train artificial intelligence models that are far more powerful than anything we can currently create. This could lead to major advances in artificial intelligence, such as the development of self-driving cars, or artificial general intelligence. Quantum computing is a rapidly developing field, and it is impossible to say for sure what the future holds. However, there is no doubt that quantum computers have the potential to revolutionize the way we live and work. Here are some additional details about quantum computing. Qubits. Qubits are the basic unit of information in quantum computing. Qubits can be in a superposition of states, which means that they can be 0 and 1 at the same time. This allows quantum computers to perform calculations that would be impossible for classical computers. Quantum algorithms. Quantum algorithms are programs that run on quantum computers. Quantum algorithms are designed to take advantage of the properties of qubits to perform calculations that would be intractable for classical computers. Quantum error correction. Quantum computers are susceptible to errors. Quantum error correction is a technique that is used to correct these errors and ensure that the calculations performed by a quantum computer are accurate. Quantum computers are still in their early stages of development. There are a number of challenges that need to be overcome before quantum computers can be widely used. These challenges include the need for qubits with long coherence times. Qubits need to have long coherence times in order to perform calculations accurately. Coherence time is the amount of time that a qubit can stay in a superposition of states. Quantum computers need to be scalable in order to be useful for real-world applications. Scalability refers to the ability to add more qubits to a quantum computer without significantly increasing the errors. Quantum algorithms must be efficient to be practical. Efficiency refers to the amount of time and resources that are required to run a quantum algorithm. Despite these challenges, there is a lot of progress being made in the field of quantum computing. It is likely that quantum computers will become a reality in the coming years, and they have the potential to revolutionize the way we live and work.